Hi there! In this short demo, I'll be going through TryHackMe's teaching dashboard, where you can assign students lessons to complete and track their progress. We have over 300 rooms you can use. Think of a room as a virtual lab that includes guided tasks and challenges. Whether you need a supporting lab for your classes or a fun security challenge that gets your students hacking real-world machines, TryHackMe has you covered. Here are a few modules that you can use. We have modules from learning Linux and networking fundamentals, all the way to more advanced content such as computer exploitation and privilege escalation. If you need Blue Team Labs, we have a selection of defensive modules such as threat and vulnerability management and incident response and forensics. All rooms inside of these modules can be used as independent assignments. Next, let's take a look at the teaching dashboard. What you can now see is an example teaching dashboard. Once students have joined your classroom, you can see their activity by clicking on them. You can put them into groups and then assign these groups of students rooms to complete, monitoring each student's progress as they work their way through the room. Next, let's take a look at assignments. Here you can see a few example assignments, but let's first create a new one. We can do this by clicking the New Assignment tab right here. Let's pretend we want to give our beginner level class a room that teaches about the top most critical web vulnerabilities. Let's give this assignment a title. In this case, we'll name it Web Hacking Lab number one. Select the group of students. In this case, we'll give it to our beginner class and select the room that we want to assign. In this case, we'll be using the OWASP top 10 room. Rooms can include your branding set in the settings tab, which we can see down here as well. When you create an assignment, all students in the group will be notified about the assignment via email. Let's go ahead and create our assignment now. You can now see that we have created our web hacking assignment. As students complete the room, their progress will appear in this table. You can also download their progress as an Excel spreadsheet via this button right here. You can change the room tasks, questions, and options, such as including a chart and or a scoreboard, or if it's locked into a particular time, all via clicking this Manage button. You can also see what the students will see by clicking the View button here, and let's go ahead and do that now. This is how a student will see the room. All hackable machines can be accessed via the web-based attack box, which we'll see right here. Give it just a moment or the web-based Kali Linux machine. And you can see that over here on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and take a look at task five in this room. Here we can see the teaching material within this specific task. In this case, this is an active command injection. Additionally, in this task, it looks like there's a virtual machine attached. We can deploy that by clicking the deploy button here. Next, let's take a look at another type of room. You can also assign challenges, such as this one, where the room setting has a chart and a scoreboard enabled. This way your students can compete against each other. We've seen our, student, or we've seen our classroom programs used for weekly labs, competitions, and graded assessments. By giving you the flexibility to change room tasks and settings, you can utilize all of TryHackMe's content and repurpose it to align with your needs. The cost per user per month is $10, or if you're in the UK, £8. This gives your students full access to all of TryHackMe's features and content, allowing your students the opportunity to independently learn at their own pace. We love to work with you. If you send us your course syllabus, we will personally recommend rooms and modules that align accordingly, saving you from exploring the platform to find the right content. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to talk with us, please reach out at education at tryhackme.com.